Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem Hacks, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi everyone, in this video we'll go through the CZF rule, which is applicable when we form alkenes from elimination reaction of alcohols or halogenol alkenes. Now sometimes during elimination reaction of alcohols and halogenol alkenes to form alkenes, we can form more than one possible alkenes. So, we use CZF rule for us to determine which alkene is the major product, which alkene is the minor product. Now, CZF rule states that the more substituted alkene will be the major product. So, what we basically need to do is we need to draw out the products and we have to decide which product is more substituted or basically which alkene has more R groups and that will be the major product. Now let's take a look at how we make use of season rule using this example. Now you notice we have uh, four carbons in this compound. Carbons 1, 2, 3 and 4. Uh, the second carbon has a booming uh, group attached to the second carbon. Now if we were to do uh, elimination reaction for this uh, hydrogen alkene, basically when I remove this Br, this Br will take away a hydrogen from an adjacent or a neighboring uh, carbon. So what you notice in this case, a BR is attached to the second carbon. Now, second carbon is neighbor to carbon 1, and it's also neighbor to carbon 3. So, what we can do is actually, when I remove the BR, we can remove the BR together with the hydrogen on carbon 1. Now, if this HBR is eliminated, then the product form will be an alkene, but the double bond is between carbons 1 and 2. So notice in this case, the product double bond is between carbons 1 and 2. Now BR has another neighboring hydrogen, which is attached to a carbon 3. So if now I remove this HBR, then the double bond form will be between carbon 2 and 3. So again, you notice in this case, when I form a double bond between carbons 2 and 3, the product alkene will look something like this. Now we have the two products drawn out, we have to look at the degree of substitution, which is just basically the number of R groups attached to this alkene. So again, in order for us to determine this, it's fairly easy, I box up the C double bond C. So you notice for the first compound, how many R groups are attached to this alkene? This is a hydrogen. This is a hydrogen, this is a hydrogen, this is a uh, ethyl group, so this is considered as one R group. Now for the other product, we have a CH3 which is R group, one hydrogen, two hydrogen, and another CH3 which is another R group. So again, CZ group states that the more substituted alkene is the major product, so this guy has one R group substituted, this guy has two R groups substituted, so the product on the right hand side is more substituted, so therefore it will be the major product. And so this is how we use of CZF rule to decide on the major minor product for the elimination reaction of halogenic alkenes or alcohols to form alkenes. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 Chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 Chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.